Hi traders, this is Kim from NinjaAddons.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about the aggregate tape user interface, which is part of the new Raider tape indicator that we developed for NT8. Let's start. In order to do this video and be able to show you the things I will be discussing, I had to create the chart this morning and let the indicator run for a few hours. So here I am now with my Raider tape on my chart with different information displayed. Right? What I want to show you today is the aggregate tape. To open it, simply click on the four little arrows on the left hand side of the chart right there. And as you can see, it will open a new window with the aggregate tape inside. There are two main sections inside this window, which are the settings section and the tape section. So let's start with the settings. The first tab is about the levels and how they are calculated. So you can choose what kind of recognition algorithm you want to use. The light algorithm is for instruments with low liquidity, like the FDAX, and heavy is for very liquid market like the DOE or the Eurostock. In order to decide which kind of algorithm you should use, look at the order book and if you see some spread between the bid and ask values, it means that the market is not liquid and you should use the light algo. Otherwise, you can use the heavy algo. As a rule of thumb, the light algo is more sensible and will find more aggregate levels than the heavy algo. So working only with the heavy algo is totally fine. Below you can see that there are four columns, one for each type of level, and for each one you can control first the audio alert when the corresponding level is found, the size of the level, remember that the size is more of a trigger level, and for example, if you set PAQ to 20 and block to 50, it means that an aggregate level with 20 to 49 contracts will be a PAQ level. Above it will be a block, up to big and then IST. And as usual, you can change the color of the level according to your preference. All right, so the second tab is more about the tape itself and its color, font, etc. Right? So from here, you can change the background color of the tape, the font, its color, and its size. Like for the basic tape, you can also modify the background and foreground colors of bid and ask, HOD, which is for transactions that happened at the highest price of the current day. So if you see price sells with a blue background, you know without looking at the chart that the market is in an uptrend and is making new highs, right? LOD, which exactly is the same, but for low prices. By the way, it stands for low of day, and if you see cells with an orange background, it means that the market is making new daily low. The last one is spread. In a liquid market or during low volatility period like outside US or European sessions, the spread between the best ask and the best bid prices increases. So if an exchange occurs inside the spread, so between the best bid and the best ask, then the background will have a special color which is black in our case. Right. Now let's have a look on the tape in more details. So you can see that there are four main columns. The first one is simply the time when the aggregate order was found. The second and third columns corresponds to the minimum and maximum price of the aggregate order. By definition, an aggregate order is composed by one or more orders that can be at a different price. Therefore, it is represented by a zone with a minimum price and maximum price. The fourth column displays the volume or the number of contracts that were exchanged during an aggregate order, not only a single transaction. You will see at the very left the type of level it is, which can be PAQ, block, big, or institution levels. If you want to see the detail of the aggregate order, it is now possible by simply just clicking on the line corresponding to the aggregate level and a sub-panel will appear with all the orders that compose the aggregate order. So let's take for example this big order of 127 contracts or 127 contracts. You can see that it is composed of several small contracts. 
one, two, and some bigger like this one, nine, nine, sixteen, or even this one, sixty contracts exchanged in one single order. So the information you see here is the exact same information provided by the basic tape. And this is what happened during the aggregate order. And you can see exactly where it was on the chart, drawing support and resistances based on abnormal volume activity. To finish, you see that there are the four classical buttons that controls the display of each kind of level. And you can also play or pause the aggregate tape when the volatility increase and want to see the detail of a certain order. I also forgot to mention that the detail of the levels is only available for real-time levels, but not for historical levels saved on your hard drive. That's because there's too much information to store. So for example, if I look to this level that happened this morning, actually it was a recorded level, so, why, so I won't see the details of it, all right? Okay, so, well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, as always, just send us a note at contact at ninja-addons.com. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified when a new video is published. Thanks again for watching. Bye!